my thoughts and prayers were with him. We missed him today. Manhattan I own isn't quite the same without him. Um, and we just, he's in our thoughts. So I'm just trying to get that clear. And, um, credit to our guys until we came out. Showed great character. Um, great, great belief in the process. Great buy-in to how we do things as an organization. Um, we didn't waver in times of adversity. And that's what I'm most proud of. Steve, 14 points after halftime. You're obviously going to be more proud of the 21 percent that you held into, but what was the message in the locker room have been holding Crawford and Russ for us after the final play? They had six threes at halftime with 50 percent of their offense. Three of them were fool's goal. They were tough shots they made in late clocks and against our pressure. We didn't think they could sustain that for 40. It was just a matter of staying with our style. Um, we believed that, you know, if we just stuck to what we do um, and didn't kind of let doubt come in. That was a big message for us. Just don't let doubt come in that we'll be fine. And we have enough character in that room that they, they have faith and they understand it. After the after losing four in a row, you shake the starting lineup. Bud comes in, scores 15. Mike gives you good 14 minutes. What was the mindset there? Just wanted to change up a little bit? And, and it really had nothing to do with the four losses. Um, it had more to do with some tendencies we were doing and reactions. Um, it wasn't about play, it was about how we were reacting to plays. Mm -hmm. And I love every one of these guys, and I said that to them. I said, but my job is to hold you accountable because if you handle adversity that way, you're probably not going to have a job right now. You're probably not going to be a very good husband. So it was a lesson about <laughs> life in that, that we have to respond to adversity better when things don't go our way, and we can't just be result-driven. And I thought a couple of our guys um, just needed that. And, and what I was most proud of, and I said to these guys, they were like Eli Manning in that locker room. Their character is unbelievable. They were the best teammates. They were the biggest cheerleaders. They were the biggest supporters. And that makes my job very easy. But you told me you got a good feel early on in a couple of careers. Is there anything different in Iowa this time around that they will do to early? Nothing different. You know, just speaking with my game, being positive, and, and just being a good teammate and doing it to this, this great group of guys. What did you guys see in the, in the second half? Coach said he thought, you know, halftime you guys were going to play better in the second half. They made some, you know, fortunate shots. Where did you guys see him, you know, on the floor? You know, the game obviously changed dramatically in the second half. Uh, the, the pace definitely kept going quicker. Um, nothing really different. Just keeping our hands busy and just uh, forcing them to drive the ball. And, uh, the well, what you see? I think we just uh, stuck to the way we play. Uh, we just stuck with the process and uh, ended up being successful. Steve, why do you guys force a lot more turnovers in the second half? And assuming it got you guys well offensively, what, what do you attribute that to? What, what happened? That, you know, I think you only five in the first half. Yeah, focus. Yeah. You know, just our focus for 40. Um, I think we thought we understood that this was a 40 minute game. They're, they're, I always, I own the, the, the defending four time champion. Like, let's not get it twisted one bit. But those kids have won a lot, and we understand it's a 40 minute game up to, down to, 10, 20, it doesn't matter. So, we had unbelievable respect for them coming into this. Um, we understood, we believe in our style. You know, there's going to be nights, it just doesn't go your way. But if we believe, if we stay committed to our style, we can wear you down. We have great depth. Uh, key is not foul. And I thought we did a very good job on them. Then we get to the line 18 times tonight. I thought that was a big difference. And then we suffocated the three point line. Our big stepped up early. We forced them to make tough twos. And we'll live with it. If teams make tough twos against us, you have to make about 35 of them to beat us. And we understood that coming in. Steve, 36 hours after St. Peter's Friday night, you come in with Iona. And you've always talked about the mindset about defense winning championships in this being Super Bowl Sunday. I remember you talking about Seattle and Denver a few years yeah. ago. How much more committed to the process have you seen these guys? Couple of days, couple I, I, I got to be totally honest. They, they haven't wavered. The, the thing we've been talking about is since June, these guys' process has been flawless, flawless. Their approach, their mindset, their work ethic, their accountability. We've had some moments under the lights where we haven't reacted the way we typically do. Um, and that happens. It happens. It happens with me. It happens. Um, I just needed to refocus them on how we react to adversity. That was all we did in the last 36 hours. They forgot that message. They followed that message. I have unbelievable belief in this team because of their process. And you've always said it's been in basketball in this program in light of Kobe Bryant tragedy. How much more have you reached this <sighs> A lot. A lot.
Anything else, guys? Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, they got some.